Hi guys, how are you? Hope you're doing good. I'm also doing good. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed, please please hit the subscription button right there. Okay, we go direct to our topic for today. And uh, okay, in this channel, you know that we always talk about topics that are helpful to our mental health, to our families, to our lives, to how we deal with people. And today, I'm talking about something different. Toxic parents. Yeah? Okay, what comes to your mind when you think about toxic parents? Okay. You see, there are some people... If, if they see the phone call ringing and they say, oh, mom is calling, dad is calling. Some people get so happy and some other people really feel, oh God, mom has called. She's going to hurt me. She's going to tell me this and this. Yeah, you could be watching, could be a toxic parent without really knowing. It could be unintentional. Okay, when you think about parents, you always come to the idea the, the idea of parents always bring the idea of family setup and uh, a family setup is supposed to be that place where you feel so happy you feel contented where you can bring emotional pains where you can let out where you can share but there's some people who can't share with their parents because they are, they are toxic yeah and uh, toxic parents are really those parents who bring up their kids who, pe who behave in ways that cause guilt, fear and obligation to their children they, they have behaviors that, that are going to shape the lives of their kids negatively yeah? they make at times it is unintentional they, some some do it without really knowing you could be a toxic parent without knowing because um, maybe that's how you are brought up and uh, you are used to that being the normal and uh, okay they do it unintentionally they are very selfish about everything they're not really concerned about their kids how they feel how they think, most especially when someone has grown up up to adulthood, they really don't consider that, yeah? And I find that with toxic parents, they do it unintentionally. They don't know they're doing it. Okay, it is, it is okay for someone to have bad days, days when you feel like yelling at your kids, being harsh to them, like you could be angry, but it shouldn't be the norm, yeah? It shouldn't be normal. It shouldn't happen every day. And uh, I'm going to be dealing with the characteristics that may display, that shows that you are a toxic parent or you are brought up in a toxic parent's background, yeah? Their characteristics. Okay. The parents may display some, and some parents may display all of them. Number one is that they, say they have self-centered behaviors. They, you see, with kids, when you're bringing up kids, you have to be there for them because you're like their godfather. You're like their second god. You have to be there for them emotionally, physically like at times I see parenthood is a is a sacrifice so yeah you sacrifice everything about you about your life and you offer it to your kids you can say that with toxic parents they are self-centered 
everything is about them they are narcissists is everything re revolves about them without really considering that they have kids kids home they have to be present present for them emotionally when you find with toxic parents they're just there kids they grow kamaka wider yeah just there and uh they are caring and it comes to things that you need and uh, every time as a kid you are left wondering what about me mom did this and this for herself for herself for herself and uh, as a kid you are left what about me every time what about me yeah you blame it say what about me every time because they are so self-centered you feel like they don't really consider what you feel yeah number two is physical and verbal abuse okay it is good for parents to discipline their children physically but it shouldn't be in a, like a case where you hit the kid all the time you don't really you beat them harshly like it is in a prison or a jail they aren't like your kids you treat them like ni watutu liokota uko ya you also abuse them emotionally name calling them shifting the blame on them silent treatment okay silent treatment is whereby maybe the kid did something wrong and the treatment that he gives it to them is you want to talk talk to them like for weeks and uh, here the, the toxic parents who who silent treat people what happens is uh, because you won't like to be in conflict with your parents so what you do as a kid you would seek to talk to them to know what's wrong and uh, at that point they gain power on you they feel like yeah hapa ni mimi ndo kusema yeah that's that's another sign of uh, being a toxic parent or being brought up in a background where you had toxic parents number three is controlling behavior this basically means invading your privacy in that they don't allow you to make your own decisions like there's some people who like i can't do this and this before asking mom okay it is okay to consult but it shouldn't be like mandatory i should ask dad everything i should consult before doing this and this i'll ask dad before buying this dress i'll ask mom no it shouldn't be that way yeah if you find that you have parents to really control you your privacy any decision that you make you can't make sole decision on your own like in cases where maybe you are a man and you have reached the age of getting married so you take this girl home and you can't up you mom refuses yeah i don't find that really good because she's supposed to 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 agree with you to support you but you find in cases in some cases that the parent who will say oh don't marry that one without really having any reason just first time judgment there if you do that you are toxic or if that was done uh, if that was done to you you could be dealing with a toxic parent the other one is uh, manipulative behaviors there are parents who may try to control your, you by using guilt or shame anytime you feel guilty about everything the other one is lack of boundaries they tend to push and push to get their way as you retire from their tactics you simply give in to their ideas they have this they lack boundaries 
they push and push and push you through to some point where you say sawa tu mama mikata home mama mesema lazima niende home mama mesema lazima niwae huyu mstana so you just say ok sawa tu they really they push push through to a point where you they even forget the boundaries that is supposed to be there between you and them and your decisions. It should be a case like where well, just consult. In your mind, but they shouldn't really decide for you. Yeah. Okay. Ask these these questions. If you, are, if you are an adult and uh, you think you had toxic parents or you ain't sure I will ask these questions one did my parents emotionally abuse me Sinijibu just think about it did they physically abuse me were you beaten like baka ukakuwa msik I was listening to a certain case where a dad and a daughter. So the dad is used to beating the girl. The girl is a teenager right now and uh, beating them so badly and end up taking off their clothes. And uh, the girl tells the dad, Dad, why do you do this? No, doesn't tell the dad, sorry. Tells the mom. But the mom says, Mrs. Yongea, Sababu, Ata mimi kiongea, Pia mimi itachapa. So this dad, Ami kwa used to, to kumpiga tu, Anampiga, anampiga, Then anatoa yomu sana wangua, Anampiga kiwa uchi. To a point where anafom, Adizile vituza uku kwa mkono, Which is, very bad. That's a toxic parent. Right away. And the other one, was I forced to care for my parents at a young age? Okay, their situations, not all of them, but you see, you see kids working to be paid so that they take care of a family. A family that has parents. That's being a toxic parent because you should take care of your kids by all means. Was I scared of my parents or their actions? Did you hear mom or dad knocking or coming home and you were magic kuja katumbo? Did they make me keep secrets from family or friends about things they did to me? Were they hitting you so hard? Were they sexually abusing you and uh, you had to keep secrets from your friends? You didn't want to really share about that because you thought you would bring shame. Could be there are parents who sexually abuse their kids and a kid wouldn't want to share that. Okay. Ask also if you are an adult, it was yourself this question do my parents treat me like I'm a child right now like they want you to tell them everything maybe you have a family but to let you know send it home hey nanuai nanua tv nanua mesa nanua kitty do they treat you like they should know everything at a side zima don't answer to me ask do they guilt me to get what they want? Threats. The people who say, the parents who, who, who would say to their parents, to their kids, sorry, like, like maybe they ask for money from you and uh, at some point, hauna. Then they say, nini meni tu, siku moja, nitatoka kwa hii dunia. Ama, kataini na hiyo pesa, sijui, 
siku yenye nitatoka kwa hii dunia mtatafuta mtu wa kupea yani wanakuwa tokiwa guilty na saa zingine si kuwanyima it's like you are really pushed to the wall na hauna yeah, do you feel that do you feel ill or have other overwhelming physical or emotional feelings after seeing my parents see the people who when they visit shags ama kwenye wazazi wako wanatoka huko wakiwa wamekasirika feeling really bad feeling like we shouldn't have visited do you leave home feeling bad then you came you should be happy basically because you met them you met family or do your kids feel that when anytime you talk to them anytime they visit you do they feel that the other one they just feel like i'll never live up, live up to the expectations of my parents the parents who have so much high expectations from you okay parents they should like wish you well we should achieve everything but do you feel like they are pressuring you like you'll never meet their expectation because even the smallest thing you do to them they don't appreciate you could be dealing with a toxic parent okay growing up with such tremendous behaviors or traits you see someone's behavior or how i behave today or how you behave today dates back to how you were brought up how you do things dates back to how you were shown things are done yeah okay the people who behave the way they behave because of the way they were brought up because of how their parents were like in terms of emotions in terms of being narcissists yeah they make it hard to form healthy self esteem you may be carrying so heavy baggage with you you may be feeling i wasn't i don't have the right self esteem because i wasn't given the chance to gain the right self esteem when i was a kid because i wasn't supported emotionally i was abused emotionally i was abused physically yeah those are the long term effects of being brought up by a toxic parent they could affect your behavior how you behave at your workplace maybe you have a family you are newly wedded it can really affect how you behave unezapata you as a wife or the husband you are so self centered you are so manipulative you don't know how to set boundaries and such okay we couldn't put the blame on you but this that that's a result of just toxic parenting and you should take care of it you should okay you shouldn't stay there and say because i was brought up in a toxic environment let me remain here no you can shift shift from that you can decide to change and you can seek help okay dealing with toxic parents how you deal with them basically okay number one thing you know is that you can't change someone's behavior like you can't change someone how they think how they do things how they view everything but you can change your own behaviors if you're brought up in a toxic environment where you behave this and this way when you decide you can change but it's hard to change the behaviors of, of your parent so what you do is you set boundaries boundaries basically are invisible lines how is this ma ati ni set boundaries na mzazi wangu hivi ndio hii sasa hapa hatupitani no they invisible what you do is for example you have this toxic mom or toxic dad so what you do with, with them kama umezoea kwenda home maybe unaenda asubuhi unashinda nao 
wanashinda wakiku toxify wakikufanya ukue toxic wakikufanya ukue guilty ukue na fear so nikafanya hivi badala ya kwenda asubuhi maybe you live in town unafanya hivi okay sitasema hatutasema ti you leave them completely what you do is go in the evening this ongeni kiasi kiasi and try to shift your topics away from what they tell you or what will make them make you feel toxified and uh, leave the next day the morning the idea was mekuja mewaona na ndio hivyo na umetoka hawajakuwa hawajakufanya ukwe toxic hawajaku hawajakupe hiyo toxic yao ya you set boundaries imaginary ones and uh, physical one should cross and make sure they don't cross that line that you've drawn for them okay it's okay to say no to your parents like if you don't agree with them just to let them know mom you know what dad you know what this is the lady i've chosen this is the boy of the man i've chosen who's going to get married to me and i'm not changing your mind as you said and bring on board what you think like present sole decisions yeah the other one is uh, okay some they will they, they will not respect the boundaries what you do is that you can cut the contact with them for some time like the same as stay in the home for, for certain time sit i call home for a certain time ndio uweze ku create your boundary na pia hao waone walikukosea the other one is after you doing that after now you set your boundaries this is the healing process okay with the healing process so so so, so, so umeamua unataka ku heal from toxic parenting so you sit you think about it you can write down of all the toxic things that you think your parents did to you then you can share with someone you can seek you can seek mental health professionals there are so many where you can be advised if you think you were brought up in a toxic environment then list the things of what you want to change like kama unataka kuacha kukuwa manipulative unataka kuacha kukuwa ule mtu mwenye ako self centered hivyo ni nini you you write the things that you would want to change then right next to each behavior the way you would want to change like kama wewe ni self centered how do you want to be you want to be kind you want to mind about what the other person is feeling blah 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 is of it so you write next to it then you prioritize your list okay you want to change all the toxic behaviors overnight you have to really like start with this proceed with this here you are in an orderly way up to when you'll be healed the other one is practice your desired behavior if you are self-centered if you are a narcissist you start practicing kindness kama ukibai nguo ulikuwa na bai nguo yako peke yako you start saying hey nikibai nguo naanza na ya wife kwanza naanza na ya mtoi kwanza hivyo step by step intentionally and you are going to achieve you're going to achieve your goals you're going to heal from being a toxic parent or being a child who has been brought up in a toxic family or environment hope this finds you well hope this is going to help someone somewhere some
toxic parent, someone who is about to be a toxic parent, someone who has been brought up by toxic parents and uh, wants to change, or someone who is isn't aware that they are in a toxic environment, or someone is a toxic environment, some someone is a toxic parent and they don't know.